hello guys today we will discuss the motor equivalent circuit and their parameters separate leg excited motor as well as series excited motor first we will discuss the dc motor so dc motor steady state equivalent circuit steady state equivalent circuit <coughs> equivalent circuit so first separately excited motor separately excited motor so separately excited motor will be <coughs> the armature is controlled by an voltage so it is separated separately excited with an voltage v v here and armature terminals a1 and a2 and uh, here we will uh, have a plus minus and this is an armature motor armature and field winding field winding is connected separately and it is excited also separately so we will take as vf and this is v and field winding terminals f1 and f2 this is a uh, current flowing in this if and uh, in this armature i so this is a separately excited motor uh, circuit and uh, next series excited motor circuit series motor circuit in the series excited motor circuit a series winding is taken s1 and s2 and it is connected to an armature and here we are exciting with a separate supply v and s1 and s2 and uh, motor are interconnected in series series wise and uh, the current flowing here i and the arm armature terminals are a1 and a2 this is motor this is series excited motor circuit is we will take as ia also armature current and uh, no uh, the series winding current will be same in the series motor circuit and uh, the last one shunt motor circuit shunt motor circuit <coughs> in the shunt motor circuit the supply is given parallelly to the armature and uh, here the field winding is connected parallelly a1 and a2 this we will uh, represent like this here a1 and a2 and uh, this current is field current if and ia and the voltage v i current so this is an shunt motor circuit so for this all these circuit separately excited motor uh, series motor and shunt motor circuit a dc motor uh, steady state equivalent circuit will be there so steady state steady state equivalent circuit steady state equivalent circuit so for dc motor armature for dc motor armature is a resistance is taken ra and which is connected with a armature 
एंड ओल्ड एज इज ऑल्सो टेकन पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव आर ए एंड हियर ई इक्वल टू के बी टाइम्स पाई ओमेगा एम विल रिप्रेजेंट दिस एज ओमेगा एम and the current flowing is ia so this is the steady state equivalent circuit of dc motor armature a voltage is taken and in series with the resistance armature resistance is taken in par in series with the motor is represented like this this is a steady state equivalent circuit of dc motor armature we will see the voltage equations for uh, dc series motor uh, equations so first we will uh, represent the output of generator the output of or the output characteristics of the output characteristics of dc motors the output characteristics of dc motors they can be obtained by they can be obtained by obtained from the motors the motors induced voltage induced voltage equations induced voltage equations and torque equations torque equations and kvl kirchhoff's voltage law voltage law around the armature circuit armature circuit is given below is given below so first in this internal voltage internal voltage of a generator of a generator in dc motor in dc motor is given by eb equal to ka pi omega this is the internal voltage of a generator equation this put as a equation number 1 next internal torque internal torque generated internal torque generated in dc motor in dc motor is given by torque equal to ka pi ia this put equation as Two. So internal torque generated in a DC motor is given by torque equal to K A pi into I A. So if we apply K V L around the K V L around the armature circuit, armature circuit is given by. is given by e equal to eb plus ia ra this is the kvl around the armature circuit so this is a uh, equations so we will represent all the terms here so pi is a flux per pole pi is flux per pole it is represented the units are webers 
and ia is the armature current armature current it is represented in amperes and uh, ea is the applied terminal voltage applied terminal voltage applied terminal voltage in volts and uh, ra is the armature resistance armature resistance in ohms and uh, omega is the motor speed it is represented in radians per second and uh, k is the motor back emf or it can also represented as torque constant torque constant and their units are volts so these are the representation of uh, the motor equivalent circuit okay thank you guys we will meet in next class Thank you.